We're here at Trump today to look at the True Laser 5030. What is new about your latest product? So on our 5030 uh, True Laser, we can now have a 10 kilowatt fiber laser. So we can increase our thicknesses now from mild steel and aluminium now to 30 millimeters. We can also increase the speed rate at which we can cut out. Um, but the most standout feature for this laser this year is the um, introduction of active speed control. What does active speed control mean? So we now have a camera in the beam path on the cutting unit that monitors the curve on the uh, cut and we can increase and decrease the speed of the cutting depending on the material quality. So does this actually save time in producing the components? Yes, so with poorer materials, so with materials with imperfections, we slow down the cut to proceed with the with cutting process. So that means we have more parts that fall out in, on poorer materials. With uh, higher grade materials and materials without imperfections, we can see up to sort of a 20% speed increase. So apart from the speed increase, and 20% is extremely impressive by the way, do you also get a better quality of part and a more consistent component? Yes, yeah, so definitely. So the main thing we, have, we find is that we have a lot more dropped out parts. So when we do have like spots in the material and spots in the sheet, we can perceive through the cut, whereas before we would may have a deterioration in the cut quality. So this has increased the speed, it's, in, it's increased uh, uh, the quality, but what about the programming of this? Is this automatic? We do have an introduction of uh, new technology tables within the machine, but it's the same programming procedure as you would do before. So nothing new, nothing complicated to learn? No, as far as the program is concerned, it's the same program in the same machine. Now, you have other features that are new about this product. What are they? So now, with the whole family, whole line of machines, so from the 1030, the 3030 and the 5030, all the same machine body. So we no longer have difference in the, in the um, series of the machines. So they now all um, appear the same on the inside, but they just have different um, extras as you go up the line. So um, on this machine, we have an external um, loading nozzle changer. So we can, the operator can now load the nozzles while the machine is operating. They, they don't have to stop the machine. And that, and that is a new feature, by the way, isn't it? So previously, yeah. people would have had to swap, stop the machine to change the nozzle. Yes, that's correct. Yeah, um, so now the, yeah, the, the operator can load and unload the nozzle changer while the machine is in operation. And you mentioned throughout the range that the machines are the same. Does that mean the, the fundamentals of the machine are the same? So, you know, the manufacturer of the machine has been made easier? Yes, that's correct. So like I said, the 1030, the 3030 and the 5030 all have the same core um, structure on the machine. So they all share the same basic features, but just as you progress through the product line, you have more, more features. So there's a lot of thought that's gone into this new product um, and ultimately it's giving savings to the end user in lots of different ways. Is, you know, is that correct? Yes, that's, that's correct. Yes, definitely.